Okay, so we're recording. Good for us. Yay for us. Uh, for we are recording. So, um, hey guys, we're we're Kenny and I are. Uh, well, Kenny looks slightly unhappy, which is normal. I think more perplexed. Looks slightly perplexed. confused, and that's also normal. <laughs> is that normal? <laughs> I think perplex is too complicated. You look confused. I'm, I am confused. Um, but normally I look confused and you look slightly angry. It's kind I'm of, probably both though. I just given up on the anger part. <laughs> so uh, Kenny and I have been talking about um, natural health products and some on our brain. Um, you know, the, there's been, you know, some regulatory stuff coming at us for a little bit. And uh, um, you, you guys know that we're fans of the CHFA. But uh, they put out, um, you know, a, a pretty, a pretty urgent call, and I, like I think we look this way because we don't entirely understand this. But I think part of this is, you know, for brands that are in natural health products, if you haven't read about this or you haven't gotten on this, um, you need to I get on this and, and dial into this pretty quick. Um, and then if you're on it um you need to kind of jump on the various lobbies that are going to help out or you need to correct us because maybe we've got this wrong but um the way we understand it is is uh you know health canada has proposed some new fees for natural health products in in canada um fees apply to things like product licensing clinical trials site inspections right to sell um and i think the surprise there's a couple of things that um and then again if you you understand this more you should totally ping us back and and um we'll talk about this um but you know what what they've done is is you know pretty quickly within um 24 hours of notice to stakeholders um they kind of gave 24 hours notice that they would be applying new fees for all these things and i think we're um, my gut reaction, and I think Kenny, you're the same, but it is um, new fees for what? How much are the fees? And then how and why? And then what, you know, for natural health products in Canada, you already go through a process to get your um, license. And so, you know, kind of this idea that you've got to now pay for another round of things that you know, quite honestly, little small natural health businesses would struggle to just get clinical trials done or to get, um, you know, to kind of like get the right kind of reviews down so that they're able to give the, the consumer some solid science behind it. Sorry, solid science is the wrong word. Documented science behind it um, is already kind of something that we struggle with right so but that's the problem i think that yeah. in lies the problem so how this would get spun by government health canada and realistically i'll put joe cynical hat on pharmaceuticals because i'll bet you the houses is where it's all being fueled from is that you're trying to the way i read it the way i understand it you're coming out with a story that is solid to sell we are Health Canada, we are the government, and we're going to protect you by making sure that any products you consume are of the highest standards, highest levels, etc. Natural health products are going to be no differently looked at than a true pharmaceutical, right? I think in the gist of it is that. And for most people, you probably sit back and says, okay, that makes sense. You're out to protect me and make sure that, you know, there's no problems and this stuff's all of whatever it is, right? To your point before, we already have a process to get an NPN to get registered yeah. to, to be able to claim. But theoretically, anything. we're protected in that process it, because you've got to submit documentation to get. You have to do this stuff anyway. Correct. The second yeah. thing is, is there's a greater, there's a big difference between understanding how to take Ozempic, whether it's for diabetes or for weight loss, or how to take Lipitor for your, for your cholesterol and your heart meds and all this other shit yeah. there's side effects to the nth degree there's contraindications there's complications for the most part natural health products don't have those issues 
they're going to throw a few examples like with a ginger or maybe old school cava cava that would do certain things or could right. inhibit certain drugs etc that's fine but we're talking products that are typically benign in the side effect and detrimental side rather than a pharmaceutical which could be very very potent on the side effect and other detrimental sides of contraindicating with other meds like i just think it's it, they've dis disguised it as a really cool way to help support canadians and protect us and all they're going to do is stifle innovation there's going to be no little guys be able to participate in categories where theoretically as a natural they aren't as destructive because your body probably understands it better because it is natural it's not from a synthetic it's not a lab do you, do you know what i'm getting at? like i think that's the fundamental no, problem with all this is i just don't understand as usual what they're going to do and then you just throw it at, at the industry you know 15 minutes before it's basically going through the house like this has already been legislated it's already on bill format like this is going to get pushed through because nobody's had a chance to even talk about the, it yeah uh, the I, I can tell you you know some of the proposed fees are they're they're large um, but those are just the fees to do it you still the testing yeah. behind it is is is, is enough no, no, yeah, and that's that's exactly what i mean right like it's, i mean it's just uh, insanity i don't understand i don't so get it many, you know you know so for the big pharma companies that this you know they've They've got costs everywhere, but they have good margins. They have they make a lot of money. Okay, they got time. They're multinational, making billions for, and billions and billions of dollars. But for small guys who are trying to make it in this, it, it becomes prohibitive. But right in away. the natural space, the pharmaceutical in, guys are in labs doing a lot of synthetic shit. There's a lot of problems with it. Yes, it's probably extended our lives in, in, in North America, yep. in the world. We know that. Yep. But natural health products, by definition, that's why they call them natural health. You're going down a different side in theory. Yep. And in practice, the side effects are less. The detriments yep. are less. I don't understand why you need to get to pharmaceutical standards. You know what? Why? Here, go back to cynical. Well, no, no. So, so I, so I have to say this, right? Do? Because I, I think what's not clear is they're charging pharmaceutical rates, but that doesn't mean we're getting to pharmaceutical standards. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, so no, no. I, I, to me, there's a big difference, right? Is we we're we're going to pay pharmaceutical rates for everything, right? So so if you want to if you want to get something tested, you're going to pay for that. If you want to do a site inspection, you're going to have to pay for that. But that doesn't that just they've introduced a fee structure that gets us to what pharmaceutical companies pay, but that doesn't mean that the results we get are different from. Doesn't what mean we get. anything. It just means that they get. Logs it's just added a whole bunch of new costs to people that Correct. are trying to do something yeah. in the natural yeah. space. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's, it's going to stop it. It's going to it's going to inhibit business. Jameson can do this. Natural factors can play in this. Yeah. There's a bunch. There's a few guys, yeah. but for yeah. the most part, we're not, you know we're not talking like the drug side. Who do you got? Lilly, Novartis, J and J, Pfizer. There's like there's like ten of well, them. There's they like ten of them, maybe. The whole the, the whole world's controlled by them. Yeah. They can do whatever they want. They make trillions. Yeah. yeah. You know, and again, um, why not some natural health products? Like, why this? It just sounds like bullshit to me. It's, it really sounds like a pharmaceutical play. I hate this to be so cynical all the time, but it just pisses me off. I don't, I don't yeah, get it. I just, I, I think so. One is, I think we need folks that are more knowledgeable to kind why of. Why don't just get Aaron to come on out with this? Let's get CHFA to come uh, yeah, on. So that, that, that's like a really good one. So, so Aaron, if you're watching this, we'd we'd love it if you came on this. Um, you know the the. You know the chfa guys have been putting out quite a bit of stuff on this so i think um if if you are you know and then if you're in this industry we'd love to hear from you um how how you view these how you've read them um we'll we'll reach out to yeah, aaron. Maybe it's just you and i uh, i'm sure aaron's dialed into our fast thoughts um but if he's not we'll, we'll reach out to aaron you know. and just uh and and ask him nicely if he'll he'll come on the show um and and talk to us about this and, and kind of give us a Lindsay, bit Lindsay will help us. But, uh Lindsay's pretty awesome too. Help um, us um, yeah, Lindsay's pretty awesome. So uh but I think if, if you're out there and, and this is you, if one you're a natural health product and you haven't read about this, uh you need to go read um whether it's and it tells you what you think else, maybe we're off, maybe we're offside. Yeah, and then if you are a natural health product and you're not worried about it, hit us up, right? Because maybe we got this all wrong. Um, would love to be able to hear from you and, and kind of, you know, help us um, think this well, help through. Help us understand so we get the narrative right. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Anyway, that's our fast thought today. I think it's it's um, it's not a bit; it's an alarm bell because I think any time that the government introduces new fees, um, quick, quick, and then yeah, passes the bill, quick, quick, you know, you kind of makes you kind of go, "What's in the fine print there? Like, what's yeah. going on there?" Right? Or so, what was behind it? Like, where's the yeah, coming yeah. From? What's the motive? Like, what's, what all of a sudden? Yeah. You know, correct. Yeah, there's just so much stuff hitting right. already. Label yeah. laws. We should just get Aaron. Come on, like seriously, let's, yeah. let's just get this yeah. done. Okay. Anyway, okay. Um, that's it. More questions than answers. As usual. Um, Thanks, guys. Thanks yeah. for listening. Thanks.